guys i hope you are doing well uh, there is a great news or you can say good news for you guys is that uh, we are creating a course on getx with flutter uh, if you want to learn getx as a pro for state management and for all other stuff uh, then you are at the right place uh, now let's introduce Fl uh, getx what is getx uh, so you can see uh, in the official documentation getx is a state manager navigation manager and dependency manager getx is basically the most liked package on the pub.dev okay what is advantages of using getx there are too much advantages of using uh, getx as a state manager because you can see it is fast it is stable and it is extra light the most beautiful thing about getx is it is extra light and powerful framework of letter so now let's see what are the reasons uh, due to which we are moving toward the getx so first of all the reason that i am talking about is uh, the manual work too much manual work in this example uh, the getx provided very beautiful template of their examples in a very precise way so uh, suppose let's uh, take a look at the navigation problem suppose when we are uh, navigating from screen a towards screen b so what we are doing you are doing too much manual stuff there like a navigator dot push dot off context dot material page route and then builder and then blah 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 things so all the manual things are now stored by great getx so how we can navigate uh, toward the screen that's just so how we can navigate to a screen so that's very simple just write get dot two and then the widget name or your screen name so yeah that's uh, very cool. Uh, now let's uh, discuss about snack bar, dialogues, and bottom sheet. Uh, you know, when you are doing these things in uh, Flutter way, what you have to do, you have to do many things. So, GetX is very, very um, friend with you, best friend with you, because it it gives you a very easy way to implement snack bar, dialogue, and bottom sheet. So, yeah, guys. Uh, we are starting course on it and it is uh, supported in many language like you can see English, Indonesia, Urdu so if you want to study the documentation of the getx here you can select your preferable language and check out content on that so I am from Pakistan and so we usually select the Urdu stuff but now let's get back to the English one so now let's first create a project on which we will be uh, using how to use navigation how to use snack bar how to use dialog and uh, bottom sheet and upon these four things we will be going to make one example video uh, that's very beautiful thing now let's create one project letter application and i'm going to name it get x with Flutter and next uh, let's finish uh, now it's creating uh, that particular application come on yeah so it's basically uh, loading our application that we have created with name getx with flutter so what we have to do in order to uh, kick start with getx so first thing first go to the website and click on install tab basically we have to install the dependency first of all so click or uh, copy that current version is 4.6.1 at the time of recording the video now going towards pubspec.yml file and we have to paste it all there and you guys uh, stay tuned because we are making complete course on getx so everything will be covered uh, in this course now click on pub get so the package is installed successfully now first thing that we have to do after installing the getx plugin so we have to turn that 
material app into get material app or let's uh, write it from scratch so what I have to do first import import come on import material and then we have to create our word main function app my app and then let's create this my app widget and remember start with get material app because we are using uh, getx for handling data or everything inside our application so it expect a home widget now let me give it a name home screen and let's create the screen first yes or let me uh, create another file for that home underscore screen and then import material stls home screen and basically that will return a scaffold so that's very simple we have set up a very basic uh, structure of our application and now let's run application application is now running uh, it's empty screen because we have nothing inside scaffold now let's create a beautiful app bar we, have, we are creating a bar with a bar widget and inside the title get x with letter and uh, remember to use const keyword because it is recommended uh, if the widget that are not changing then make sure you have a constant uh, widget so now let's uh, run it you can see uh, app bar is there now uh, in this video tutorial we are going to implement uh, three to four things one is uh, navigation with flutter and one is snack bar dialog and bottom sheet and after learning these things we are then going toward one example so uh, inside the body i am creating a column column widget is a widget in which you can place multiple widgets in a uh, vertical form so first of all i am going to create uh, one list style list style the leading of icon you can see it is again saying that um, make it constant because we are not using any dynamic things there so I have created one list style with getx utils and I'm going to copy the same uh, another for the example so basically these are two uh, buttons you can say for different purposes so yeah examples uh, upon clicking on getx uh, utils will lead us to the first part and then example now let me create a folder for that uh, getx utils and another folder is for getx example now let's start with the utils here i'm going to create a, another dart folder uh, another dart uh, file with name uh, getx utility utils and we have to create a material page stls uh, utils implementation and then we have to return a scaffold with a body column. And now let's create a bar there as well.
okay now let me show it to you how effective the getx navigation is now let me uh, show when user click on that button it should land to the uh, new page that we have created on tab so now let's first look the manual work manual work now it is saying something okay so basically uh, we are doing some uh, dynamic work here we have to remove the constant from there yeah now it's working uh, so before getx what we are doing is a very very much manual work this and then material page route and then builder and then the widget widget is utils implementation so you guys can see how much line of code we have to write just for one single navigation so now let's check the result when i click on get x utils it is now sending me towards the a new page but now let me show it to you how uh, getx is useful there and powerful very powerful way right now we just check the syntax get dot two first of all we have to import get for that get dot two two is basically english word like car where to uh, this screen utils implementation yeah that's it that minimum amount of code will work the same and in a very efficient way now click on get x utils so you can see the result uh, it reduces the line of code as well and it is more quick uh, you can see guys it require context but it doesn't require context so uh, one beautiful thing regarding getx now let's move toward the getx utils class here we are going uh, to learn about uh, three things one is uh, let me show it to you uh, list style uh, leading is uh, now let's title snack bar in getx you can see and then on tab okay this is for snack bar this is for dialog and this is for bottom sheet okay guys uh, clicking on get x will open the uh, snack bar dialog and bottom sheet respectively now let's see how we can use get x snack bar so we have to call get and then we have to import it dot snack bar sorry and you can see this this is all we have to do uh, first of all we have to provide the title like yahoo, yahoo and then we did it yeah guys you really did it and then we can change the color text like colors dot white and we can change the background text as well like colors dot black yeah uh, there are many uh, other attributes as well so you can see uh, that's very simple using getx snack bar now let's uh, learn about dialog get dot default dialog there are many many things there uh, this the very simple is uh, get default dialog and there you will see title like text oh sorry you can see what it is expecting okay uh, the argument type text cannot be sent to parameter type string sorry so they also remove uh, that uh, writing the text widget as well like title is get x dialog and then we have to provide the content 
This is green. And then we have to wrap the column in a container. with a full width and height of 100 we will also learn about responsiveness through getx for, for now I'm just hard coding everything as we go we will learn in the way now dialog yeah you can see how simple it is just write get default dialog and your thing it is just rendered there how cool is this right and now let's move toward the bottom sheet it's simple get dot bottom sheet and then you are widget like uh, as I have did with this I have to copy and paste that's it we are ready with bottom sheet as well Cool bottom sheet right and then click upon uh, bottom sheet in getx oh sorry uh, we have uh, not uh, yeah sorry it is working you can see cool bottom sheet right we have to give it a color colors dot white and then it will show the background color as well yeah, you can see so basically getx is very powerful if you are uh, working with flutter I recommend you to go with getx so uh, now let's move toward the example we have to create uh, one to-do list in which we will be using all the three things the snack bar the dialog box and the bottom sheet so let's get into it uh, let's get into it in the next video tutorial uh, stay tuned for the next video